Wow, they're hanging off the rafters out there. Hello, everybody. We call this meeting to order. All right, thanks a lot. I want to welcome everybody to, uh, how many Ignatzes is this? Oh, it says right there. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, are there any other slides after this one? It, it, the general one? Oh, okay. So, ah, there we go. There we are. All right, so as is my purview as, you know, the alleged executive director, I just want to say a few things. First of all, I want to, there's a whole bunch of guests this year I want to thank in various different ways, and if I miss somebody, please go ahead and shoot me. Um, we had, um, the, you know, the old weekly people come, and in particular, I wanted to thank um, uh, Jules Pfeiffer and Linda Barry and Charles Burns. And, they, you know, um, Keith Knight is here, Jen Sorensen is around, Tom Tomorrow, Durf Back Durf, Shannon Wheeler. Um, I was probably going to miss somebody, and they'll come up and say, why did you miss me, and that'll be that. We also had a bunch of people for the first time come to SPX. Uh, Brandon Graham, who, by the way, I still haven't met. Is he around? <laughs> he'll, he'll be up, I think, in a minute. Uh, Brandon Graham, uh, Emily Carroll, uh, yeah. for first time. Uh, Roman Muradov, the first time. And, and by the way, for, for those of you that don't know, and I, and I didn't realize this until I spoke to uh, Roman over email, both Emily and Roman did their first posters ever for this year's SPX. And, you know, for those of you that are collectors, we only printed 145, and when they're gone, they're gone. Okay, so just wanted to warn you about that. Um, Drew Friedman, we never had Drew before. Drew, thanks a lot for coming down. Um, Mimi Pond, Mimi, thanks a lot for coming. Um, all the way from Australia, and, and by the way, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Bob Mankoff uh, is here from the New Yorker. And then last, but certainly not least, um, uh, Simon Hanselman coming all the way from, uh, from Australia. And, and for those of you that, you know, don't look at social media and things like that, literally right after we complete here, um, we're honored. Um, Pope, Rabbi, Imam Mike Thomas is going to host his first wedding ever here at SPX. And Simon Hanselman is going to be married to comics. And I ask everybody to... So, um, you know, we're going to go ahead, we're going to complete this, we'll go right into the wedding, and we'll go upstairs, and then we'll have the cutting of the cake, and then the food will be opened up, okay? All right, so now, there was a whole bunch of people that were involved in this, uh, uh, you know, in no particular order. Uh, Mike Thomas, our master of social media. Uh, Goddess Eden, Goddess of the uh, Dan Stafford came in, and uh, Yitzi, Megan, and Bailey, who basically were the backbone of. Thank you. Uh, we couldn't have done this without the program. Bill Cardalopoulos, wherever he is, Bill. Once, once again, I mean, you know, I just love the programming that Bill's put together. Uh, Sam Marks, Sam took care of the exhibitor room, did a really amazing yeah. job, okay. Uh, Catherine Frost, Catherine leads our um, graphic novel gift program. She's taking that over from me this year, so let's hear it for Catherine. Um, this year, we donated books to the PG County Library, and with the books that we donated this year, we have put 1,092 books from publishers here into DC area public libraries. So we're... Um, 
Um, I just want to go ahead and talk just for like two quick minutes about our relationship with the, uh, with the Library of Congress. Um, for those of you, uh, I took some people to the Library of Congress on Friday, and what we found out was is there's an exhibition in the Jefferson Building, which is one of the great masterpieces of Beaux-Arts architecture for those of you that have not been there. And they have three cases there from the Serials Division, which is where our mini-comics are. So there's one case about newspapers and one case with like, you know, Avengers number one and some Marvel and DC stuff in it. And then there was a whole case of SPX stuff from the SPX collection, okay? And, and what, what this means is, is that, the, you know, the general public just walking through sees our name sitting there in the Library of Congress, okay? We were sponsors of the National Book Festival again this year. We brought in Brian Lee O'Malley. We brought in Liza Donnelly. And we also brought in Gene Yang. And Gene, okay, they have four speakers, all right, that, that speak at the gala. And the gala is for like ambassadors, members of Congress, okay, the uppity ups of the Library of Congress. And Gene was one of four people chosen to speak. And right after him was E.L. Doctorow, okay? And Gene talked for his seven to 10 minutes about comic books and comics. And it was, um, it was just amazing in that audience to see comics being talked about and everybody loved it. Um, Friday, Box, Box Brown over here, okay. Did a <laughs> Every year we do, a, uh, there's a lecture that goes before SPX and this year Box came and talked about what it was like to be a publisher and a creator at the same time and how he got started and all of those things and he gave a great talk there for those, for those of us that were there. So, and I want to thank, um, uh, out on the floor, I know we've got um, half a dozen or so uh, curators from the Library of Congress. For those of you that were gracious enough to donate to the collection, we really thank you. For those of, uh, for those of you that we, that we are going to approach, we're, we're going to get down on hands and knees and please help out to the collection. But more importantly, please help us preserve independent comics, okay? Literally to the sun goes supernova. So, all right. So now, real quick, um, 2015, the dates are uh, September 18th and 19th of 2015, and a couple of things. One, um, we, have, we signed contracts through 2016. There will not be an increase in your hotel rates until 2017 at the earliest, okay? <laughs> So, you know, we're trying to keep things, you know, as cheap as possible to bring people in and stuff like that. I know, you know, the economy's tough out there and it's tough being a cartoonist. So that's going on. Um, but also next year's our 21st birthday. And so we've got a theme. You know, every now and then we like to put a theme together. And the theme next year is, is we're going to basically thematically pull together people who have only worked in the 21st century. Okay. And uh, Michael DeForge, I spoke with him. He's, of course, going to come back. But I've already spoken to Matt Boers out in Portland. I don't know if you read uh, Medium.com and The Nib. He's doing some amazing stuff there. Lily Correa is going to come back for the first time in a couple of years. And Luke Pearson's going to come over from England. All right, so, you know, mark your calendars, 918, 919, and that's what's going to go on there. Now, last but not least, you know, we have all of these old weekly artists. Um, oh, I should do this, shouldn't I? Um, this is the, one of the largest, at a festival, this is the largest gathering of Walt Weekly cartoonists. It's a very important part of the comics field. There's, if not Walt Weekly's, therefore not The Simpsons, because Matt Greene got his start in L.A., they saw his stuff, they gave him the animation, and things came off. In 2015, this is the first of its kind, either for, my, either for us or the site of illustrators, we're going to be co-hosting, co-branding, and myself and Bill Karlopoulos are going to be curating a basically a six or seven week show, I forgot exactly the amount of time, time frame, at the Society of Illustrators dedicated to the alt weekly cartoonists. And we've. Uh, I, I want to thank, uh, I know uh, Manel, uh, Lindsay, and uh, I forgot who else came from the Society of Illustrators. I know that uh, Karen Green's out here, Charles Brownstein. I want to thank the Society of Illustrators and their board of directors for basically joining up with us, us joining up with them. The perspective is irrelevant to go ahead and make this happen. We're real excited, and we've already gotten commitments for art from uh, uh, Linda Barry, Ellen Forney, Kaz, Tony Millionaire, Dirk Bachdorf, Keith Knight, Jen Sorensen. I mean, there's literally like a dozen people that have already said they're going to go ahead and, and uh, 
give us art to go ahead and display at, at this amazing thing. The uh, opening will be, I think, like March 6th or March 9th, something like that. You know, we'll come up for air. In the next week or two, we're going to put out official press releases. But this is a first for both us and them. And when you go up there, it's going to be a branded Society of Illustrators Small Press Expo exposition at the Society of Illustrators. And, you know, for us, we're just, like, thrilled. And we're thrilled to work with the Society of Illustrators. We, we just can't wait. Anyway, I've used up my five or six minutes. And I want to thank you. And once again, we're going we're gonna to boogie through this. We're going to see, like, an amazing wedding. We're going to go upstairs. We're going to cut wedding cake. We're going to eat. There's not only going to be the Ignatz after party, which has moved upstairs, okay? We've always had room, we've always had space problems out in front of the White Front Auditorium. It's now up in the main foyer, and because it's up in the main foyer, you can now go outside with your drinks, and they will not hassle you, okay? Yeah, okay. <laughs> and for those of you um, that once again may have missed this, we've got the SPX prom. And I want to thank, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to thank uh, the Dirty Diamonds. I want to thank uh, Tom. I want to thank Shannon. I want to thank Matt. I want to thank everybody who contributed to this. It's going to be great. There's going to be DJs. There's going to be balloons. It's going to be, it's going to be great. Okay. And that'll be over here in the Brookside A and B rooms right around the corner. So anyway, I've I've said my piece. Thanks a lot. And now we're going to rock and roll with uh, the Ignats. And here's Goddess Eden. <laughs> Yeah, it was another really amazing year for the Ignats. Um, for some reason, people just keep sending them in, and I keep sending them to the jurors. <laughs> but I think we had a really amazing uh, group of nominees this year, and I'm very happy with how well it reflects the Small Press Expo community. So I would like to introduce James Sturm as host. He is an award-winning cartoonist, but maybe more importantly, he is helping to shape the next generation of creators through his work at the Center for Cartoon Studies in Vermont. So, James. Hello. I, I am so on cloud nine today, I can't even tell everybody. So um, welcome, everybody. Um, thank you, Eden, for coordinating all this. And I'd like a, like a huge round uh, um, of applause for Warren Bernard, who this thing isn't as awesome as it is without this man um, as the driving force behind it. So Warren, <laughs> where, where are you? Did he leave? Thank you. So um, two reasons why um, I think that the uh, Ignatz Awards is the best award ceremony in comics. One, it's like the shortest. How many, <laughs> how many people have gone to San Diego and you're in East Coast time and it's like 11 o'clock and you're just like dying, you know? So hopefully, uh, you know, we'll be drinking beer in less than an hour. So that's, that's good. Uh, the second reason is, is it's the coolest award. It's a, it's a, it's a brick. My first SPX was in uh, 1996, and, uh, and it's astounding how much uh, this award ceremony has grown, reflecting you know, the growing currency of comics and culture at large and education. And here we are in 2014, and it's truly a golden age of comics. I know it's like a cliche, but it's, it's really true. And if we are in a golden age of comics, then all the cartoonists in this room are the gold. And I would like to just like say that I, I, I know I'm pandering, but it's true. I really am in awe of your skills and your comics. And I know from experience um, that, it, that it's really difficult. And as an older member of this tribe, I can tell you uh, from experience that it, it really doesn't get any easier. Uh, <laughs> But that's precisely why tonight is a night that we revel, right? That's why it's so important that we gather together and we take a break from our drawing boards and our tablets uh, to celebrate um, our, accomplish our accomplishments. So whether you've been nominated for an Ignatz Award 
or you know, you came here with your first very mini comics, the first time you've ever been here, I'd like just a round of applause uh, for every cartoonist in this room. I salute you. <laughs> Woo! You guys are like my heroes. Yes, 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 yes. You are the gold, but of course, gold does tarnish. <laughs> so when you begin to tarnish, if you don't make back your table expense, or you're feeling insecure about your skills, or when you succumb to the numerous maladies that mess with your, your self-esteem, your mental health, and your ability to make comics, I want you to guys to remember one thing, okay? Remember the brick, okay? Because <laughs> it hurts like hell to be hit in the head with a brick. But despite that pain, greater than the pain is the love. So. <laughs> I want you all to be happy cats. Happy cats. Okay. All right. Like I said, this is a quick ceremony. So without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Our first presenter tonight is the author of Stonewall and of the serialized mystery, The Disappearance of Pepper Stein, appearing in the Maple Key Comics Anthology. As drag phenomena Sasha Valore, he, or is it a she? performs in Brooklyn, and has just come out with a new art magazine about drag, VYM. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Sasha Steinberg. So thank you, James, for everything. Oh, there it's mine's playing. <laughs> this is supposed to be my entrance music. <laughs> thank you, James, for everything, especially for, as Eden said, shaping uh, this generation in which I'm included. You, I you feel have a beautiful shape. Thank I you. Say. I was going to say I feel especially shaped. I've had help from you and lots of furniture foam. <laughs> So shall we do the first award? Let's do it. Okay, the first award is for Outstanding Story. An outstanding story is a narrative that resonates with the reader long after the last page has been turned. This award celebrates... There we go. <laughs> Table L6. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. This award celebrates economy and storytelling, craft and originality. The nominees for Outstanding Story are Brownout Biscuit from Octopus Pie Dead Forever by Meredith Gran. <laughs> Destination X by John Martz. <laughs> the Grassy Knoll by Nick Dernasso. Jobs from Life Zone by Simon Hanselman. <laughs> and Mom from Viewatron number two by Sam Sharp. <laughs> and the award goes to Brownout Biscuit from Octopus Pie Dead Forever by Meredith Graham. Oh man, I was really hoping I wouldn't be the first category. <laughs> uh, this is really, really fucking awesome. Thank you guys. Um, comics is the most fun thing I can imagine doing. I wake up in the morning thinking about them and I go to bed thinking about them. Yeah, the same thing. Um, I, I can't think of anything I want to do more and it's really just absolutely fantastic to get this. Thank you very much.
Brown out biscuit. Wow, I, th I think I had one of those last night, actually. <laughs> Explains a lot. But seriously, in our community, I think that this award carries a lot of weight, about five pounds. Thank you very much, Sasha, for presenting that award. Thank you, thank you. All right, so it's now time to introduce uh, the next presenter. All right. Thank you very much, Sasha Galar. Thank you. Who's the next presenter, James? All right. Um, do you want me to do a drum, drum roll? Well, I'm think would you like to introduce the next presenter? Oh, no, I couldn't possibly do that. I, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, you have a kind of a flair for this kind of stuff. Maybe oh, you would mm, mind. Mm, kind of, no, no, no. I think you do a good job. I, I really wouldn't like to do that. I don't know. Um, all right, if you don't want to do it, you don't, you don't have to, you can... Well, you know, I, it's just that I'm not, I'm not prepared or anything, and I'm, I'm just, I'm so shy. <laughs> All right, why don't you just, you know what, just... Sasha, Sasha, Sasha Great. Sasha, why don't you stay? Why don't you? I'd like you to. I'd sure? like you to stay and, and kind of co. You know, help help me with this. Would you? I'm so honored. What a surprise. Thank you very much, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. My co-host for tonight's events, uh, Sasha Vlor. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. What do we got next? What's our next award, Sasha? Okay, let me see. Let me see. Okay. All right. Our next presenter is uh, the three-time Ignatz Award winner for his self-published mini-comic, Snake Oil, and the End of the Fucking World. He lives in Hancock, Massachusetts, where he runs Oily Comics. Now, James, according to his website, he is arguably the most acclaimed talent to come out of the Center for Cartoon Studies. <laughs> Very so, arguably. <laughs> so, uh, we will have to have a discussion about that later, Chuck. Please welcome Charles Forsman. <laughs> Woo! I, I, I didn't write that bio. That's uh, no. Eric at Fanographics wrote that. <laughs> so you know. All right, no, no jokes. I got no jokes. So this is Outstanding an Anthology <laughs> or Collection. First nominee is Amazing Facts and Beyond by Kevin Hazanga and Dan Zetwak. <laughs> the End by Anders Nielsen. Eye of the Majestic Creature, Volume 2, by Leslie Stein. Sock Monkey Treasury, by Tony Millionaire. And Queer, edited by Robert Kirby. And the Ignatz goes to... Queer. Robert Kirby. Is there a queer? Is it queer in the house? Is Robert here? Rob's not here. Does he have a, a friend? <laughs> yeah? Come on up. I don't really have anything to say. I wasn't in the end. Anthology, but I know that Rob was really wanted to be here, and I can't wait to tell him that he won this award. Thank you. Thanks. Wow, that's exciting. I'm actually in that anthology. <clears throat> well, let's just say this once and for all: we're all winners tonight, except for everyone who doesn't get an award. 
James, I was, I was very nervous when you asked me to help host the Ignats this year, if you'll just let me say a few things. Um, when you asked me, that was uh, three minutes ago. <laughs> this, this wasn't planned at all. <laughs> anyway, there, there are just so many nominees that I, I worried I wouldn't be able to remember all the names. You know, I wanted to know the titles of the books. So this one summer, I learned an amazing, enlightening, and absolutely true memory technique that's supposed to help you remember long lists like that. My friend Trevor taught it to me while he was on hiatus from his jobs. And he's a boy genius who never forgets anything. It sounds a bit queer, but my mom swears by it for, rem for remembering amazing facts and beyond. You're supposed to make up a place, let's call it Destination X. And you imagine a castle there, a sort of tower kind of thing. So I imagine, let's say that there's a castle sitting on a grassy knoll underneath a bright blue sky and stereo, and it's filled up to the top, like a test tube, with things that remind you of the things that you're supposed to remember. So, for example, if I'm going to the grocery store and I need to remember to get onions, powdered milk, and a brownout biscuit, I'd picture a fantasy basketball, because you see basketballs are round and that makes you think of, of onions. And then I'd picture a demon, which looks sort of like some wicked chicken queen, and who is constantly molting, and as her black feather falls, I stare directly into the eye of the majestic creature, and I say, listen, Missy, you are not supposed to be here. You're banned for life. And then, blam, the whole house of women is surrounded by big dogs at night, and the biggest one, the boxer, is marking his territory on the hip-hop family tree, while cosplayers <laughs> play couch tag in his house, and I scream, what do you think you're doing? And everything outside erupts into a war of streets and houses, which triggers the end of the world as we know it, with all of our misliving amended in a book of judgment by boxers and saints, and a deranged sock monkey who wails, it will all hurt. And I actually, I forget where I was going with that. <laughs> But, but you see my point, which is that there are many, many titles, and it, it would be difficult to remember them all, even with a, even with a trick like yes, that. Yeah, I can see that. Should all we right. do the next one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Our next presenter is the author of the Ignatz Award, uh, Ignatz Award winning mini comic, Phase Seven, and the beautiful adventure story, Basewood, best known for its tiny lines and tiny, tiny dots. <laughs> It is my great pleasure to welcome my former teacher and comics idol, Alex Long, Alec Longstrap. Sorry, Alec. I wanted to help make you look even more glamorous today, so that's why I'm dressed like this. Are you guys doing the slides? Yeah. Okay. Um, as if it wasn't hard enough to make one comic book. The following badass cartoonist created a whole series. <laughs> Next slide, please. <laughs> the Black Feather Falls by Ellen Lindner. <laughs> Demon by Jason Shiga. <laughs> Powdered Milk by Kyla Roberts. <laughs> Sky and Stereo by Sasha Mardu. And Towerkin by Kat Verhoeven. And the Ignatz Award for Outstanding Series goes to Demon by Jason Shiga! Um, anyways, thanks everyone. Uh, I know you all want to get out of here, so I'll try to keep this short. Uh, first, I'd like to thank my wife and my kid who couldn't be here today, but without whom there's no possible way uh, I could have made this comic. So thank you, Alina and Kazuo, wherever you are. Um, <laughs> I, want, I want to thank my readers and especially those of you who have been supporting me on patreon.com backslash shiga. Uh, 
and donating at the $4.99 level in return for receiving a monthly continuing subscription to Demon, or maybe even donating at the $34 complete subscription level. Um, but seriously, uh, most of all, I would like to thank everyone here who has come out here, who has come out here today to meet me, support me, and drop by my table at N1. People who remembered where to find me by using the mnemonic device Narwhal has one horn. N1. <laughs> That's where I am. Thank you. Next. Well, you know, what an amazing collection of talent we have here tonight. Let's clap for everyone. Can we do that? <laughs> Some of these artists have been around long enough that in 1996, 97, 96, the, uh, their work may have been nominated for the first Ignatz Award. And some of these artists are old enough that in 1997, their work may have been nominated for a spot on the fridge. The next award recognizes all of the new talent in the past year. This is the first SBX, I believe, for our next presenter, who started out as a graffiti artist in his native Seattle, and now is the writer behind the Image Comics series Prophet. His other titles include Multiple Warheads, King City, Elevator, and Universe So Big. Ladies and gentlemen, non-binary gender aliens, and brick-throwing mice, let's give a warm welcome to Brandon Graham. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Um, this is a cool category because this is uh, promising new talent. And uh, I feel like I'm kind of fed off of new comics constantly. And so, like the people nominated here, I think it's, 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 it's worth checking out their work, even if it's not the winning one, because hopefully it's new to you, and that's, that, that's exciting. All right, uh, so the first one is uh, Luke Howard for Trevor. Um, Kathy G. Johnson for Jeremiah Boy Genius Until It Runs Clear. Uh, Nick Offerman for Orange Onion. And uh, Kyler Roberts for Powdered Milk. And uh, Daryl Sightchick for Missy. And the award goes to uh, Kathy G. Johnson. down so I would remember. Um, thank you very much. I wrote that down. Um, <laughs> thanks to the jurors, like especially this is a real honor. Um, thanks to my partner Kevin, who I love very much, and thank you to my parents. Um, I love comics. Um, it's a medium that's been very important to me in my life. Um, I also love this culture and this community that we've created. Um, I feel very welcome in it. Um, but it can also be really frustrating. Um, I feel like this year and in many years in the past, um, a lot of our peers have experienced harassment, um, especially our female peers. And I think we need to work harder to show solidarity and reject um, harassment and oppression. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Alright, I want the 
show. Outstanding comic. Right? Is the next category and the presenter will be. Eleanor Davis, Woo! ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Eleanor Davis! Yeah, I'm going to do my introduction. Okay. Sorry. 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 Eleanor Davis has a new book called How to Be Happy, out now from Fanagraphics <laughs> Books, which I bought today and it looks amazing so far. She's also the author of two children's books, uh, the award-winning Stinky from Toon Books and The Secret Science Alliance and the Copycat Crook, written with her husband, Drew Wang. Her artwork is literally everywhere, everywhere these days as, and is really an inspiration to all of us. Please welcome Eleanor hey, Davis. Eleanor Davis. Uh, thank you. Um, I was uh, trying to come up with something clever to say uh, to, to sort of introduce the outstanding comics category, but all I could really think about was how strange it is and, and how nice it is that we all love comics so much. Uh, I don't really know why. I don't think maybe any of you guys know why. At some point, a long time ago, all of us uh, read a comic and we fell in love with it. And I'm so grateful that the following artists are continuing to make work, outstanding work, so that we continue, can continue to fall in love with it and new readers can continue to fall in love. All right, introducing Outstanding Comic. Uh, Blammo Number 8 by Noah Van Shiver. <laughs> Cosplayers by Dash Shaw. It Will All Hurt by Farrell Dalrymple. <laughs> Miss Living Amended by Adam Buttrick. <laughs> and Wicked Chicken Queen by Sam Alden. <laughs> and the award for Outstanding Comic goes to Wicked Chicken Queen by Sam Alden. short dumb joke and I know it's really annoying the dumb jokes because everyone's all these presenters are saying such meaningful and true things um, and the Ignatz Awards are so meaningful because they're chosen by all of you and who's more qualified to choose these awards than the dedicated and sophisticated attendees and exhibitors of SPX unless you didn't win in which case they're decided by a mob of slack-jawed idiot fan wannabes <laughs> maybe, so. our next presenter for Outstanding Mini Comic comes all the way from Berlin, Germany. Aisha Franz is the author of Alien and Brigitte and has stories in all the hottest magazines. Wir freuen uns sehr, dass Sie bei uns sein können. Meine Damen und Herren, bitte herzlich willkommen zu Aisha Franz. <laughs> So, uh, soll ich das jetzt auf Deutsch machen? Oder? Ja. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, uh, uh, yeah, mini comics, uh, just a short thing. Like, um, I really, I think my comics collection is uh, really poor because I'm really poor. <laughs> so I can't afford all the like nice uh, books that are all over, but. Um, I have a lot of mini comics because that's the great thing about it. You can always like meet new people and trade all this stuff and get it for free. So, 
Um, I have a really big uh, mini comic collection at home, and I hope um, I'll get all the ones who are uh, nominated tonight. Um, so, yeah, the nominees for Outstanding Mini Comic are The Grassy Knoll by Nick Dronasso. <laughs> There was a, a spelling help for me uh, <laughs> for this last name, so thank you. <laughs> um, uh, the next one is uh, House of Women by Sophie Goldstein. <laughs> Never Forgets by Yumi Sakugawa. Test tube number one by Carlos Gonzalez. <laughs> and up to the top by Ian Sampson. <laughs> well, that's the first time I have to do something like this. The winner is. House of Women by Sophie Goldstein. Thanks. Uh, I never remember I'm very nervous about public speaking until I'm doing it. Um, so I'd like to thank uh, my teachers at CCS, uh, some of whom are here, John Chad and Alec Longstreth and uh, James Sturm, <laughs> uh, and the class of 2013 who, uh, at CCS who um, really pushed and inspired me, um, and you know everyone who's here who is just trying their best. You guys are all doing it as hard as you can, and that should be celebrated. So. <laughs> was amazing. The talent among these nominees has been truly amazing. Listen folks, be sure to congratulate the winners when you see them later. Don't piss them off, they're armed with blunt objects. <laughs> um, our next presenter for Outstanding Online Comic is a queer cartoonist originally from the Bay Area known to roam near Montreal. Rumor has it that Sophie has taken up residency at the Center for Cartoon Studies so you have my sympathies. <clears throat> the author of the Ignats nominated The War of Streets and Houses, Team Streets, it's Sofiano. <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't request that shout out. Um, I realized only too late that clogs are like the most awkward thing to mount a stage <laughs> wearing, but I made it. All right, um, I was planning to just sort of be Sasha's straight man, but I think he already has that covered. So let's just get into it. Um, the nominees for Outstanding Online Comic are Band for Life by Anya Davidson. <laughs> Big Dogs at Night by Dane Martin. Demon by Jason Shiga. On Hiatus by Pete Toms. And Vatu by Evan Dom. And the winner for Outstanding Online Comic is Vatu by Evan Dom. Guys, 
Thank you so much. This means so much to me. Um, this show is really important to me, and this award means a lot. And uh, this is like my life, this comic stuff. So thank you for uh, liking it, those of you who did. And uh, if you didn't vote for, for me, then I'm sorry, because you lost. <laughs> thank, thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. Good. We're moving along. Thank you, Sam, for that very short speech. It's going to get us drinking a little earlier. Um, next category is Outstanding Graphic Novel. Who do we have presenting today? Okay. Our next presenter is known for his contributions to such works as City of Glass, the graphic novel with David Mazzucchelli, The Ride Together, a memoir of autism in the family, and I Shall Destroy All the Civilized Planets. It's true, actually. I shall. Please welcome comics creator, educator, and superstar, Paul Carrasco. <laughs> Okay, before I hand out an award, I want to uh, uh, give you all an order tomorrow. Uh, if you will be here tomorrow, if you get up after tonight. <laughs> I would like you to go around tomorrow and say hello to your friends and then look for somebody's booth where they're not doing any business. Someone who's selling a mini comic for maybe two or three bucks and take a look at what they're doing. Maybe it's interesting. Maybe it's something that you've never seen before, and maybe it's something you should try. Part of what we're doing here is we're encouraging people to make comics and enjoying strange things. Today I found some very strange things for three bucks, so that's your assignment. <laughs> okay. So outstanding graphic novel. Wait a second. There's something, miss there's something missing from this uh, so far. I'm, I'm, I'm missing something from this evening, James. Yeah, what was uh, that? What's that? Well, you're doing such a great job, but I'm missing the drum roll effect. Oh. Okay, so can we practice the drum roll? I'm gonna go like this, and I want everybody to drum on their hands, and when I go like this, you stop. Okay, ready? Ready? Watch me. No, you, watch me. Ready, okay? <laughs> drum roll. Stop. Nice. Now, this means stop. Let's do it again. <laughs> Drum roll. And stop. Oh, that was good. Okay. Okay, get ready. It's coming up. <laughs> Outstanding graphic novel. Hmm, The Amazing, Enlightening, and Absolutely True Adventures of Catherine Whaley by Kim Deitch. <laughs> Next up, we have The Boxer. Let's go back, one, two, there we go, The Boxer, by Reinhard Kleist. <laughs> Boxers and Saints, by Jean Loon Yang. <laughs> this One Summer, by Jillian Amariko Tamaki. And finally, War of the Streets and Houses by Sophie Yano. Okay, and the winner is... Oh, good. This One Summer by Jillian Mariko. Yay, Jillian Mariko. Um, I'm going to keep it short. Thank you uh, to SBX. This was actually the very first comic show that I ever went to in 2006 and I just sort of like hung my shingle and like, hey, you're like in comics now. So um, this is very poignant. Um, thank you. I'm obviously accepting for um, myself my cousin and uh, thanks to uh, First Second for being nice. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Outstanding artist is up next. Who do we have presenting for the Outstanding Artist? All right, J 
John Parcelino, do we have an official introduction, yes. Sasha? Our final presenter is the award-winning author of the self-published, photocopied, and mostly autobiographical series, King Cat Comics. It's definitely the best known and longest running mini comic produced today. Begun when he was a teenager, which was, I guess, a long time ago. Please welcome the coolest guy in comics, John Porcellino. I forgot that you're supposed to come up with something to say when you come up here. So, um, and I'm too tired to think of something to say. So this award is for uh, Outstanding Artist. <laughs> they, all, they all look pretty good to me. Uh, first up, uh, Sam Bosma for Fantasy Basketball. <laughs> Kim Deitch for the amazing, enlightening, and absolutely true adventures of Catherine Whaley. <laughs> Sophie Goldstein for Darwin Carmichael is going to hell at Natu House of Women. Ed Pisker for Hip Hop Family Tree Volume 1. And Jesse Reckloff for Couch Tag. And the winner is Sam Bosma for Fantasy Basketball. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Um, thanks so much uh, to everybody, uh, to the judges and uh, everybody who voted. Uh, thanks so much to my great fiance, Callie, who's a great illustrator and a great editor also. Um, SBX is my favorite show and uh, it's always been really good to me. And uh, thanks so much for indulging me in a book about basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks everybody for putting up with our little shenanigans and uh, congratulations to everybody and all the winners and all that kind of stuff. Thank you, Sasha, for uh, keeping you, me company up here because I was really terrified when they asked me to do this because, uh, what? So thanks for <laughs> running some interference for me. Of course, every party's better with a clown. <laughs> <laughs> so enjoy the evening. Let's have a drink together and really revel tonight, okay? Thank you all. Before, before you go, I just want to say a quick thank you to the jurors. Um, and we also want to give special thanks to Comixology, who sponsored this award, award show and the after party. I would like Chip Mosier to come and make a few words about the Comixology Submit program. <laughs> I'm the jerk you have to listen to before you drink. <laughs> this is my second anniversary closing out the show. I'm very excited about it. So just bear with me here. I might have 125 drink tickets in my pocket <laughs> that I will share with you. So if you bear with me, you might, you might get one. Uh, I love comics. It's a real privilege working in comics. It's an awesome responsibility working comics at the level that we at Comixology work and everyone else at Comixology feels that awesome responsibility. It's an honor to sponsor the Ignat Awards, the Ignats Awards and be a part of SBX. Uh, Comixology has a mission and uh, we want to make everyone in the world a comic fan and part of that is thinking that there's a comic book for everyone. And when you know that there's a comic book for everyone, you know that you need the most diverse catalog of comics to offer that worldwide and part of that is having such a great selection from the SPX community. 
Um, we have a program called Comixology Submit where you can upload a PDF and uh, make your work available on our platform, uh, submit.comixology.com. Just to steal a little uh, plug uh, attitude from Jason Shiga. Um, I'm almost done. I'm really almost done. Uh, so we were uh, really pleased this year to uh, curate 82 books from uh, exhibitors and attendees at uh, SPX that you submit over this past year. It's 10 bucks on comicsology.com. Uh, did I say I have 125 drink tickets? I have 125 drink tickets. 125 drink tickets. Let's go drink. All right, thank you everyone. Uh, feel free to stay for the Simon Hanselman wedding where he gets married to comics. <laughs>